Hello beautiful souls, it's Karen here at Star Child Tarot. Thank you for all your love and support, for getting me to 600 subs on my second channel. really appreciate that very much. I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you for that. Um, so here we are with the mid-May love readings for all the signs. And today we're going to be looking at Virgo. So check out your sun, moon, rising or Venus. I'm doing a special offer on the readings. Uh, one question for £15. I have a Patreon page which you can join for just £3 a month to get exclusive 18 plus content over there. I also have a card shop with over 90 designs of Oracle and Tarot and all the links are down below and any support you can give is greatly appreciated. So we're going to look at Virgo. So what is coming up for Virgo mid-May in their love lives? What does Virgo need to know? And I'm using the Art of Love Tarot. What does Virgo need to know about the love life for mid-May? What does Virgo need to know? So we've got the moon. So we're coming up into that moon energy as I'm recording this. The new moon energy on the 19th. We have the Queen of Trees, which is our uh, Queen of Pentacles. Nurture, and that is your own energy. And we've got the Death card, Release, Metamorphosis. So you're going through some sort of change, some sort of transformation. And we're in that, the still in the energy of the Scorpio Lunar Eclipse. And we've got the Universal World card, Expansion. So your, your life, your world is changing. Uh, things are going to change around you. And we've got the Three of Coins, Dedication. So there could be some sort of collaboration coming towards you. And we've got the Six of Trees, Receiving. So that's that give and take energy. So maybe learning to receive, you know, maybe you've been somebody that has given a lot in the past. I can certainly resonate with that. And now it's time for you to receive. But it's always about balance of give and receive. So why is the death card there? We've got page of cups, innocence. So there could be start of something here, start of a new love connection. OK, a message coming in, start of something. And we've got three of stars, visions, wands, three of wands which always talks to me about divine time in there. Okay, so we've got the moon clarified by the three of trees. So, you know, the, it says dedication, illusion. So obviously be careful. Maybe you're not seeing things quite clearly right now. And um, so watch that. And, you know, be open to receive as well as give. You know, don't over give. Just be in that balance. And you're going through a change which I feel could, you know, mean the start of something, a new love, opening up to love again. And there is a new chapter coming in, and it's all about the timing of that, okay? It's all about timing. I just love this deck. It's so beautiful, isn't it? So why is the moon energy there? Why is the moon energy there? So we've got the Ace of Coins, Abundance. Wow, so that's beautiful. There is financial abundance coming in, I feel... Maybe you've had money worries, money struggles, but there is a new beginning. For some, it could be a new job opportunity, some sort of work offer, um, unexpected money coming in. But there's definitely an increase in your finances. And we've got the Queen of Trees and we've got the Ace of Swords, Wisdom. So you're very wise. You see through the BS, you see the truth. And not just about other people, but yourself. You're really being honest with yourself. And yes, you've, you've changed with that release. You've released the past and we've got the star energy. So yes, you've done healing and you're ready. You know, you've never gave up hope. You're ready to manifest your desires. And we have a new chapter coming in there with the universe. And we've got the judgment call there. Emergence. You're emerging from the past. You're letting go of the past. You're becoming a new version of you. And we have that collaboration and we've got the shadow, we've got the devil energy here. Okay, so it's about looking at that, okay. Um, I feel maybe a lot of you have been doing that with that solar eclipse energy. Looking at your shadow side and releasing fear. What can you tell us about that? Because that's the devil. And we've got the magician, yeah. I feel that you are overcoming that and you are ready to manifest your desires. You know you're worthy and you're coming into balance. And we've got page of trees. So again, there could be a communication coming in here about finances, about a work opportunity for some of you. And why is the page of hearts there? Why is the page of hearts there? Why is the page of hearts there? Wow. 
Wow. <laughs> the emperor, father, father. So this could be somebody that's already a dad. Okay, that's what I'm picking up. This could be your divine partner if you're a feminine um, trying to attract a new emperor. I mean, it looks like they're going to turn up. And they could already be a dad, okay? They could already have children with somebody else. And it's all about the timing. Yeah, and we've got the Six of Swords, transition. Yeah, you're moving away from the past. You're leaving the past behind. And there is a new version of you. And we've got the Force energy. You are strong, okay? And I feel this connection will be strong as well. So what's the outcome here? What's the outcome for Virgo? the highest light and love of all what's the outcome for Virgo what's the outcome for Virgo what's the outcome for Virgo here what's the outcome for the highest light and love we've got the path the chariot expiration so your life is going to start moving forward and it's going to move forward quickly and we've got the Page of Swords, mysticism. you're seeing the truth, there could be messages of truth and clarity. And we've got Ten of Cups, wow, wow, culmination. So you're just in the energy of being and you're receptive and you're in that loving energy and you're attracting in love, you're attracting in that loving connection, you're attracting in your emperor. Anything else? Anything else about this? Yeah, we've got King of Swords, Peaceful Warrior. So for some of you, it could be an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, and I. But somebody that's very peaceful, somebody that is in touch with their heart. Okay, they're not just in their, their head. They're peaceful. Anything else? The higher sign, love. Wow, union, two of hearts, two of cups. This is soulmate energy. This is your soulmate, okay? And there is union ahead and a new beginning, a new beginning, initiation, a new beginning in your life in all areas, I feel. Wow, wow, I love that. And I'm a Virgo, so I claim that reading. <laughs> I claim that reading for me. So let's have a look at the Divine Goddess Oracle. This is my new deck, okay? Hope you like it. So let's look at the messages for Virgo. What does Virgo need to know right now? What does Virgo need to know? So, you know, see your own beauty. Be in that feminine essence. Be kind, you know, kind to yourself, kind to others. And we've got Sedna, the goddess of the sea. And it's the advice is go by the ocean. Maybe get involved in helping clean up the oceans in some way. Get involved in that. You know, maybe that will really help you. And we've got wealth, abundance and fertility coming in. So some of you, you could be right, really fertile right now. So we've got healing of sexuality and sensuality. So I feel together you two are going to really help each other heal these aspects that maybe have been wounded in the past. And we've got happy times ahead, you know. We've got happy times. And the sun is going to shine. Oh, how beautiful is that? I love that. Okay, and being your divine feminine, be loving, nurturing and receptive. And you are the empress. <clears throat> and we had the emperor come out so this is a divine union okay so i'm going to leave it there beautiful messages and if you enjoy my content please subscribe like share comment and i will see you next time bye for now